Well, hello, Bumblebee, and thank you so much for being here today in my channel, my podcast, Cafecito with Vivi. I am your host, Vivi, and today's episode, I have um, an interesting thing that I showed my son um, a little bit while ago. I was listening to a podcast, and um, and then he started like, Mom, they're saying a bad word, like a curse word, right? But he saves a bad word so whatever <laughs> so um I explain him what to do in those cases right so I'm gonna bring the same idea or like um how I explain it to him on what to do separating the things that are useful and things that are not and it's gonna it was like a moment of creativity I guess that I had as a mom <laughs> But I want you to also know this so you can also apply it to yourself. Um, but before we continue, uh, I just want to say that uh, thank you for being here. And please, if you could do me a favor and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And also um, ring the notification bell so you can receive notifications every time I upload a new video. And if you listen this to the podcast, if you can please follow my podcast, I will truly appreciate it. And leave me your most honest review. And yes, I still have the giveaway um, for uh, the um, Cafecito with Baby. <laughs> I still have the giveaway. So you're more welcome to send the screenshot to Hello at Mindful Tasks Academy so you can enter in the giveaway. So let's shall continue. Okay, so obviously I give him the example Oh, I give him the example for uh, chicken nuggets and broccoli because he loves chicken nuggets and he clearly hates broccoli. But in this case, you use whatever um, whatever thing that accommodates with you better, if you may say so, if you want to do it that way better. Um, because this is this is definitely uh, for you. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm so sorry if I... I just don't want to, I don't want to uh, stop and then record again because I have done that before and it just makes me a little uncomfortable trying to, like I'm in a role talking and talking and then suddenly I have to record again. I, it has happened to me a few times already, so <laughs> I just, I wasn't prepared with the mic and I'm supposed to have it like close to me so you can hear me. Anyways, um, so the chicken nuggets and the broccoli and why did I say that? Well, it's just, um, you know, I was listening to the, this podcast. She was throwing like really good information into it. But of course, uh, she was like throwing some uh, course words at it. And I'm not saying in a bad way. It was actually pretty decent. It was not like a, a person because uh, I know I I I seen it, uh, some some people that they just kind of like from three regular words that they say they insert um a curse word and then continue, you know, and, and it goes back and forth like that. I used to be one of those. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and I just decided that that was not me. Yes, of course, once. And then I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, fuck this. Or whatever, right? And like I mentioned before, I'm not the type of person that, oh, my God, they said a, a curse word. And I'm just like, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not like that. I'm not perfect. Nobody is, uh, but I, I don't get uh, offended or disappointed by people who uses a lot of coarse words in the regular speaking manner. I'm okay with it. I'm really am. But you know, little kids, how they they are. Well, he's nine already. I don't know why he's still like that. Uh, or maybe it's a normal thing. I don't know. I I don't know. I really don't know. For me, it was very normal when my two oldest, because I was in the military, so we literally talk like that, like normal. It was a normal thing for us to throw the F word, the shit, the whatever words. But um, but anyways, she was throwing on the podcast like very good information that I was like taking actually notes. I was like, oh, mental notes, because I was getting ready. I was putting my makeup on, I was doing my hair. And, and then he went like that, and I said, oh, Okay, listen, son, this is the thing. She was 
saying really good stuff that it can help you with your life and how you can apply them in your life. And I really think it's it's good information that um that she has. So um uh, let's let's put those words that you don't like aside and take the information that she's giving because it's really good information. What do you mean, mom? And then I said, well, imagine that she's offering you a plate of chicken nuggets and broccoli. Do you like broccoli? No, I don't. Okay, do you push the plate away just because you don't like broccoli? No, you don't. You put aside the broccoli and you eat the chicken nuggets. And he was like, oh, okay. Yeah, well, that makes sense uh, a lot for him, right? And sometimes I see that on social media a lot where people um, commenting or saying some things and they don't actually take the information because of one or two things that the person that is um, developing a message they didn't agree with. So I want you to apply the same thing. There's so much information out there, so much, and especially in the finance world, right? Um, me here, I'm here as a finance coach trying to help you. And like, um, like I said from the beginning, I turned my uh, my practice into holistic because I realized that there's so much that a person needs to work on in regard, is, uh, in regard to mindset and controlling the feelings and like the nervous system, not the feelings, but like uh, controlling the nervous system or, you know, things like that in order to make better financial decisions. So I kind of like turn it into that. And I'm here throwing stuff, mindset, that they are in my mind, they're in my heart for me to share with you. And thank you so much for listening, right? Um, but I know that there might be some things that you don't agree with. There might be some things that, mm, that doesn't feel right with me. Guess what? You are in total control of that. You can actually say, well, you know what? That thing that she said specifically, it doesn't work with me, but this other thing it does. So I'm going to take that thing that it works for me. And I'm going to apply it and I'm going to use it. And, and that is fine. So I'm not saying that follow me. I'm the expert and you should be just saying what I'm saying. No, um, I'm just here to guide you and to give you some insights from what I have learned into this new era of me and holistic approach. Um, so even if I bring you uh, ideas or tips on how you uh, how to pay your credit cards or how to invest, I haven't bring up the investments yet, but I do say that to my uh, customers one and one. So um, don't take everything as I said, or just take the things that you, you feel they're more comfortable for you and make sure that that comfort is, is speaking to you in a manner that that is an information that you need. And don't throw things just because you're coming from a place of ego. Oh, I don't need that information. Oh, I already know that information. Even, even me as a, a you know, I, I went to, I went to freaking school to, uh, and to take classes in, in investments. And I still follow people that talks about investments. And, oh yeah. Why you said it's so true. Oh yeah. I like that. Um, so, and I take, I, I have taken their courses. I have uh, following them and agree with things that they said. Not everything, but I agree with things. Why Why I don't say, oh, I already know that, so I don't need it. I don't need it. No, because learning, like repetition, is the mother of all, all learning. So the more information I receive and the more implemented, I know I'm going to be better myself in relationship with my my investments as well, because that is something that I'm trying to, to grow again. Um, I, I lost some and I didn't, even though I went to school, I, I had some practical knowledge, but I didn't have the mindset and I didn't have the, uh, the other uh, things that I've been learning into it. So, okay. Yeah. I'm learning from them too. And, and it's, it's, it is okay. So even if they said things that I already know, oh, okay. So let me digest that information that they just said. I don't take it as a no. I already know it and and I'm not going to hear from them or like I'm not going to follow them anymore. No, I still going to follow them. I still going to learn 
because like I mentioned, the repetition is the mother of all learning. And I learned that from um, Napoleon Hill. <laughs> yeah, that is the author. From uh, Think and Grow Rich and The Outwearing the Devil, two great books that have changed my mindset at tons. So I kindly suggest you for you to also read those books if you want to. So yes, I'm going to bring things in here that probably you are not going to resonate with and and this is what i am inviting you to do that okay so what is the things that it works on my favor that i can make me a um a better a better person or, or that i can fix uh, my or nurture fix or nurture maybe my relationship with the money okay what is she's saying what this other person is saying okay what is books are she recommended is there anyone else that is recommending the same books Okay, so, you know, and you start taking that information that it feels right with you. And sometimes uh, we come from a place of ego or like, you know, because um, we have been through scams or something and we don't, we are afraid of taking the next level or we are afraid of taking some, um, someone's, uh, idea or knowledge or deep because we are afraid of taking of moving from that position because we want to feel safe and we don't want to move to that other position right so make sure also that it doesn't come from ego and one of the things that i can give you as a tip if you want to take it or not that's fine is to practice more meditation you see uh, i love praying i still pray a lot however i do meditate as well because praying is me telling god god help me with this i you know this is my prayer this is my request to you so i'm putting my request and i'm putting my request with confidence and knowing that i it's already been answered however there's going to be guidance from god as well because there's going to be inspired action that i need to take so the inspiration or like how can i hear god talking to me and that is made through meditation and that's why i have some meditations and if you want more meditations I do have them on the group on um, Queen Bee community. I'm going to put the link so you can join. It's completely free. But I do have some uh, free stuff and there's free uh, content for you to, to get more knowledge and, and really nurture that uh, money mindset because it's what is going to set up the foundation, the entire foundation on you as a... As, um, your beliefs and your ideas and your story about money so you can you know perceive more or actually achieve your goals and that is really something that i kind of ran into uh recently and after me being studying and you know taking the nlp class and currently i'm taking some other holistic classes um, I'm just trying to get better myself so I can give the, my best to you guys. And like I said, you don't have to do exactly what I said. Just take what it feels right to you. And one of the ways that you're going to feel more like this is guidance for me is by practicing more meditation. So um, now if you don't believe in God, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever is the higher power that you believe in, just tap into that because there is a there is a higher power uh, that is going to guide you to uh, um, through your goals and really is um it, it is really a divine guidance that you that you receive. But uh, anyways, I that's why I wanted to bring this episode so you can understand that oh, okay all the information that is out there. You can do not just with me, but anybody else that you hear information and you're not confused about, oh my gosh, what should I do? Okay, this person is saying this, this other person is saying that. What should I do? What feels better to you? What are you guided to do on that specific thing that they uh, they share they share a tip or they share something? Does it resonate with you? Is it in alignment with who you want to become? Uh, financially in your story like the the story that you're you're creating from now on like okay you are very conscious about what is going on with your numbers and your bank account so okay let me take that next step let me take that uh step for uh nurture my mindset right so yeah 
take what it feels right to you and disregard what it doesn't and or put it in the back door maybe you come back later <laughs> maybe you, when you're older you're gonna like uh, broccoli <laughs> i do like broccoli i don't know i don't know why kids don't like broccoli um i don't remember me as a kid not liking any vegetables but i know all kids are different so and i always been a 40. <laughs> that's why i have the way that i like it I love food and I I always say that at least I try there are things that I probably I don't know but I'm like at least let me try at least I, I try <laughs> but anyways um I hope you have liked this video and if you can leave me some comments below I will truly appreciate it so I can know um what it has resonated with you so I can bring more content and if you have any questions also uh please um uh, DM me on Instagram at mindful tasks academy that is the name of my company uh, for my education when I do uh, education on, on finances. And um, uh, follow me on Instagram at Mindful Tasks Academy and send me a DM or comment here below or send me an email to hello at the Mindful Tasks Academy so I can, that come, so I can answer the questions that you might have. Okay, well, thank you so much for uh, being here, like I said before, and I will truly appreciate it if you subscribe. And remember, it's a baby thing you wouldn't understand. Bye.